that whole underground music scene and the art scene back then, it, it was burgeoning and it was, it was exciting. For the first five years of Soundgarden, Hiro Yamamoto wrote songs, played bass, and every so often even sang lead. I was kind of a DIY punker. We did it for the people, <laughs> you know? And, uh, and I've always kind of had that ethos. When Soundgarden signed with a major label, it was only a matter of time before Hero and his punk rock ethos would walk. They call it the music industry because it is an industry. And the music you play, it's a product. Black hole sun, won't you come? As Soundgarden rocketed to fame, Hero went back to school to become a chemical engineer. I've got this weird brain that I love science and math and all this kind of weird conceptual quantum mechanics. And today I'm here to give you a little demonstration on how to take a hexavalent chromium sample. This Hero is, uh, still EPA. plays music. Here he is with Stereo Donkey. But naturally, he's looked back at his decision to leave Soundgarden. Like my dad would always say things like, some people make decisions on their ethics and they suffer for them, but they're the courageous ones. And that's, you know, it almost makes me cry. His parents were both interned during World War II. His induction into the Asian Hall of Fame has Hero also looking back at the discrimination he faced. You know, you got slanty eyes, you got chubby cheeks, or, you know, any, like any of those, the, the smallest slights dig little holes in it, you know? I want people to know that inside, when you aren't white in a white culture, I act like a white person 99% of the time, but I always know that I'm not. I feel like that, that part of this Asian Hall of Fame is kind of, hey, look at this is the stuff we've done. And it helps bring out those stories so that people understand what the Asian people have been through.